G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Let's Go, Let's Play, Let's See, Let's Do, and today, well, you guessed it, we're back in the yellow tugboat, is what I'm going to call it now, even though it's not, um, and we're going to go and do some more refactoring, so, so far in the last video, I spent hours and hours trying to figure out how to do it, and I figured out how to do it, and then I got shot and killed for my um, actions and ended up in jail. Okay, so now we're going to bugger off and try to figure out where, how, what we can actually do. So obviously, we know that if we just get some targets and fire at them, we can um, do a good thing. In other words, meaning that we can just scrape the hole. Um, so I found out whilst um, putting this particular video together, is if you end up doing the, um, I'm calling it the satellite missions, it's actually a little bit more different than that, but if, if it's, you do the satellite missions, we have to go and um, find three ones and then destroy the satellites before they take the data away from the comms array, um, then you end up having quite a few ships coming around there. So that's a little hint. Um, obviously, you just can't rely on doing these particular missions, like the distress calls, because um, uh, you don't know what's going to happen. However, and this is the important part that I wanted to actually call out in this video, in the um, settings for, let's just call it hole scraping, you've got two options and you can see them on the left hand side. At the moment I've got the first one selected and this, for lack of better words, is probably what I would classify as a narrower beam. Um, obviously, if people know about what the difference is between the first one and the second one, please let me know. I'm just going by the graphics I can actually see on my screen. So, yes, you can get stuff with both for sure. But, um, yeah, watch now. So, I've done the change and um, I can actually see that the beam is wider. And it looks like it just sucks up more. I don't know if it does it any quicker or not. I, no point to judge. But I'm guessing this might be for bigger ships and the other one is for smaller ships or maybe there's something more intricate than that. I have no idea. All I know, it seems to be sucking this thing up like a vacuum cleaner. So I'm okay with that. So why are we showing this again? Uh, first of all, it's cool. Second of all, um, I actually want to show you guys what happens once I actually get a one SCU um, container and what that actually looks like, and then, more importantly, what the hell to go do with it once you actually have it. Um, so that's what this video is all about today. So don't worry about it, folks. You're not going to see too much scraping going on for um, quite a while, but you, you get the general idea. This is what's going to happen. This is what's going on. Oh, there's a wing there. So we'll definitely scrape the crap out of that one. And we're going, and we're doing, and we're good. And in about a few moments... Assuming I can find some more hole fragments. Come on, <laughs> you idiots. So we give the ship a little bit of a spin. Ah, there we go. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. No, no. Again, no. Here we go. We're, just, we're so close, folks. We're just so close. You can actually see what happens. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So this starts happening once you've actually hit um, one SCU. And now what does that actually mean? Well, it means that it's generated a crate. That's basically what it means. So let's go down and have a look. I know other YouTube videos tend to just like slice and dice and show you the final result, but this is what it is. So it's right there. And um, on the screen here, let's just um, zoom in. And we've got pretty much nothing there again. And we can't make anything anymore. So can we grab this? Too heavy to pick up. Okay, that's what the message flashed on there for a second. So that was very nice, wasn't it? So what do we do now? Well, obviously, we go out and we do more. So just to cut a long story short, folks, I've spent the last hour of my time at this point, going through and also getting more material and material and material. It took me a while to get it, to be honest with you. But um, I definitely do have some more material in the, um, it's called in the muncher. 
for lack of better words. I'm sure there's a word out there that um, is showing what it actually is and does, but um, yeah, you'll see. So now, after going down the elevator, <laughs> elevator stairs quickly, and you can see here, we've got some more stuff in there. And I was just very cautious not to go too high. And you can see here, we can do a few things. So let's start from the bottom, shall we? Because we don't have enough for a multi-tool. And there you go. Once you create this thing, you can grab it, equip it, inspect it. I'm going to inspect the bloody thing because I've never seen one of these things before. There you go. And what else can you do with it? Uh, well, for just for this, let's just equip it. Come on. Didn't I equip? Looks like the bottom of a lightsaber. Come on. No, I don't want to carry equip. All right, that did something. So now let's get. Yeah, let's do this one. Cool. <laughs> well, we all know what this thing looks like, but um, for the sake of purpose, there you go. Now, I've got nothing to plug it into, so obviously I can't equip it to anything. Um, and I'm definitely not going to drop it. So I'm going to take a few steps back and press the inventory key, which is I. And I'm just going to dump this in. No, not local because I'm sitting at Microtech. I'll dump it into the ship. So that way it's there and it's ready for me. This thing, still too, still too heavy to pick up. Can't do anything about it. So yeah, save you all some travel time. I've noticed in the far back, especially on the PTU, in the test servers, there's this door that I never saw before. Maybe it was always there, but I never paid attention to it. And it says restricted with a red light on it, which is very interesting because I don't think I remember ever seeing it with a red light. At least it's never caught my eye. But anyway, we're not here to look at red lights. We're here to actually figure out, well, what the hell do we do with the cargo? And um, I'm just going to store the ship. And um, based on some brilliant video editing, you're going to now see me at the TDD terminal, which has changed for sure. Oh, yes, this has definitely changed. Um, shit. Um, okay. Sell. Uh, not the selling I was thinking of. Um, I have to select my ship. Okay, let's get, yeah, that one. Click on it. Okay, this is interesting. Where is the cargo? Is that it? All right. Oh, we want to sell one of them. What is it? Seven. Huh. Okay. Why not? Ah, so there you have it, folks. Seven. 0.6k for one crate of whole matter. There you go. So I hope you found that one interesting. I know I just did. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and I will talk to you in the next one.